Yeah. I hold a lot in my shoulders and my lower neck. Yeah. Do you have any pain in your low back when I do this? A little tightness. Oh. Sorry, let's do this. Turn your head to the right. <laughs> Almost. One more breath in. Oh. 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 oh yeah. Oh, holy fluff! Okay, we're here with Cass today. We've got some general joint achiness, but with a history of a right hip. You said pincer. Yeah. That's what the doctors called it, a pincer. Yeah, I, you know what's funny is, I don't know what that means, and uh, I'm gonna have to look it up. But this was in Canada? Yes. Maybe it's a Canadian thing. Who knows? Right hip pincer, but you had some ridiculous symptoms. You had some pain down your back. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or, excuse me, down your leg. Yes. All right. So we had some right hip, possibly radiculopathy. And we're gonna push into the lumbar spine and see if there's any possible pinched nerves there. And then, other than that, we have some occasional headaches, couple a month, and we have some old injury stuff from being a dancer, competitive jalet, jalet. <laughs> well, who knows? Ballet, jazz, and and what was the other one? Tap, tap. Yeah. I love tap dance. Yeah. Did you ever see that movie, Tap? Gregory Hines. Yes, actually, I did. Cool. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna push into your spine. Okay. <laughs> Like, do you have any... Not comfortable, but not like any shooting pain. Okay, let's do this one here. Any pain, discomfort? Worse. It's worse yeah. there. Okay, one up from there. Pain, discomfort. Discomfort, but not as bad as the... Yeah, right there. Okay, I'm gonna measure, see which side this is. Okay, that's right at L3. Let's see, right, left. About the same. Both? Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna push into your sacrum here. Ready? Right, left. About the same. About Maybe the same. right a touch more. Okay, what about here? Right, left. Just discomfort. Okay. All right, let's check the shoulder muscles here. Your, your lumbar spine definitely needs to be adjusted to you. Yes. And like this right here, there's a lot of stagnation. I hold a lot in my shoulders and my lower neck. We're going to push on that, we're going to beat it up, <laughs> move it around. Please, dear God. And see if we can get you just as much as relief as possible. Now, you're, you're on some good, we went over your supplements and stuff, and I mm -hmm. think that when you have general achiness in your joints, it's not so much like, let's fix your elbow, let's fix your mm -hmm. knee. It's, it's more like, how can we feed your body all yeah. of the nutrients so that we know that it has everything that it needs and then also take away everything that it doesn't want. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna bend your knees now, okay? Just mm -hmm. try to let me do the work, don't help. We're gonna bend this up. Do you have any pain in your low back when I do this? A little tightness, but more in my hip flexors, actually. So the front of your thighs? Yeah. I want to push down into your hip here. Do you have any pain discomfort when I push here? Mm, just not. Doesn't feel great being pushed on. Nothing. How about horrible. here? Pain here? Nope. Okay. There. Okay, ready? One or two? Uh, two. Okay, ready? Two or three? Uh, one more time. Two, three. About the same. Okay. Now three. All right, let's do this. Push your legs out to the side against my hands. Push, 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 push. Good, relax. Right, I'm gonna put some magnesium and then start working on your neck, okay? All right. Now, there's something about being a, any, really any former athlete, but dances especially <laughs> for, I don't know, dancers' bodies are just, yeah. get beat up.
Right there, right? Yeah. Is it hurt here too? Uh, definitely there? a little tender. Tender? But not as bad as on the side there. Ow, right there. adjust according to the trap fibers. So tell me which is the most tender. It's going to be seven points, okay? okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Probably like seven and four. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, so this tells us that we need to start at T9, which is here. Eight. Okay, but if I push right here, does that feel better? Yes. Okay, that's pretty cool, right? <laughs> All right, so that means we're gonna start here at this part of the spine. Nice and gentle breathing, and as you breathe out, we're gonna follow your breath, and then we'll give a little push. All right. Let's do that again. In breath, and out breath. Shoulders sinking. Oh, <laughs> so glorious. That was good. You don't know how many chiropractors I've been to and they can never get my mid back. Really? Yeah. Okay, deep breath in and out. Shoulders sinking. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yes. That was nice. Lovely. <laughs> Okay, this one has a little bit of a, this one's a little bit different. This time when you, you're gonna breathe all the way in and then as you breathe out is when I push, okay? okay. Let's give it a try, in breath, let it go. Oh, oh my goodness. All right, I'm gonna bend this top leg. You get this adjustment ever? Yes. Okay, good. All right, so we're gonna do a nice, gentle breathing side posture. I'm gonna adjust your hip on this side. We had a, we had a left short. So the left hip, this one's turned back like this. We're gonna go forward like that. I'm gonna adjust the left side hip, right side lumbar. So you're gonna take a deep breath in, out. Bring the hip down and the shoulder up. That's really nice. One more breath. We're following this breath cycle out. Good. Good. Land back. Nice. Okay, now I'm going to adjust your lumbar spine at L3. Here's the oh yeah, crest. All right, so I'm going to bring your hip down like this. And uh, we're gonna bring it right into the lumbar spine right here. Shoulders are coming up. Feel it? Yeah. All right, let's give it a try. Deep breath in. And out. All right. Okay, not bad. I'm gonna just come down one more segment. And then just do a little push again. Deep breath in. And out. Okay, now let the shoulders and hips go. Oh, nice. On right, your back. Oh. Oh, hey. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna adjust your hip now. Okay. All right, one more, I'm gonna adjust the hip this time. Deep breath in, and out. Good, Lucy goose, good. Yeah, okay, land your back. You're gonna feel a lot better after this. <laughs> Hallelujah. Sorry, let's do this. Turn your head to the right, back to center. Left, center. Bring your right ear down to your shoulder, center. Left ear, center. 
Okay, again, turn to the right. Center. Turn to the left. Center. I'm going to do that one more time. Just to make sure. Okay, turn to the right. Center. Left. Aye. Right, right back here, you feel Just it? Tender. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Ouch. Mm hmm. Not nice. No. <laughs> yeah. All right, you ready to get your neck cracked? Yes. All right, I'm gonna do the right side here first, nice and gentle breathing. I'm gonna follow your breathing, and then as you breathe out just like that, we're gonna go in that direction, a little push right there, okay? All right, ladies. Okay, you know what to do. Gentle, 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 sinking in, very nice, good. Oh, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Breathing one is always the most impactful to me, like, because you just like, once you get the right thing adjusted, then all of a sudden all that neck shoulder tension leaves. Yeah. And all of a sudden it literally is easier to breathe. And that's yeah. a profound thing. Oh, yeah. No, I totally get that. Because you never think about your breath. It just <laughs> happens all the time, yeah. no matter what. So we're just, you know, it's easy to take for granted. Mm hmm. That does. Alrighty, nice and gentle, same thing left side. Let me test it first and see exactly where I'm gonna go with this one here. Seven, six, five. <laughs> yep, okay, nice and gentle, following the breathing. Okay, let the head drop, shoulders drop. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Lovely. All right, I'm gonna crack your toes now, okay? down on your ankle right here. This is one that you fractured? Yes, but that weird bump, I have it on both feet, actually. You had it since you were a kid? Yep. Like, whenever I've been to doctors or people, they're like... Normal. Normal. Nothing. It doesn't hurt. It does look... It is annoying to find shoes that don't, like, mm. sit right there, but otherwise, no, yeah, so... Okay, I'm gonna give a little pull here. Good. Right side. One more. How's this? Is this okay? Very tender. Very tender? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna palpate your abdomen, okay? All right. Is your belly button? <laughs> Tickle it. Sorry. We'll be giggling. <laughs> we'll be giggling. Here, take your left, bring your left hand over here. Put it on top of my hand. There we go. Apparently, but more hand. Give me more hand. <laughs> Apparently, this this and we just like decrease the sensation that way. <laughs> oh, that doesn't feel good. Very tender right there. Yeah, where my fingers are in your belly, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just gonna work this through. Good belly breathing. Tender? In a little bit. Is it more tender on the left than the right? Yeah. <laughs> Ow. All right, you can put that arm away. I'm gonna use this thumb right here for that to mark the position. All right, you can keep it here. Keep, I mean, keep your hand there too. Very tender, floppity, right? Floppity, floppity, floop. <laughs> it's 
Sorry. I'm, I'm around children, so you try not to curse. So mm-hmm. those weird, funny sounds come out. It's perfect. Floppity flu. <laughs> I'm going to use that later. Yeah, I have children. Go. All right, I'm going to push down a little bit further. Mm. We're going to lift the pubic bone up in this position. Fluff. Okay, you're doing good. We're going to do three more breaths. As you breathe out, we're going to follow it down a little bit further. It's perfect. One more. One more, cat. You're almost there. Out. Good. <laughs> almost. One more breath in. Oh, holy crap. Oh, good lord. Now I just feel like, whoop. Oh, lovely. I'm going to say put this arm up in the air. All right, push down against, push down against me right here. Okay. Okay, nice and gentle breathing, good. All right, following the breath, we go in that direction here. Good. Do you know what's happening right now? Have you ever the seen ring this? dinger. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna follow your breath, and we're gonna go in that direction. Good, 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 good. Another one in breath, and out breath. Oh, holy fluff! <laughs> Yeah. <sighs> Felt that in my mid back. Holy fluff. <sighs> you see it, you don't know what it is until you've experienced it. Holy crap. Okay. Look, crap is right. It's a fair, it's a fair statement to make it. <laughs> oh dear God. Oh my gosh, it feels so much taller. Mm-hmm. Oh, that is lovely. Wow. Hello. Are right, your hands relax. So you have a Canadian chiropractor who cracks your ears? Well, she just like she does like tune-ups. Um, and it's like you can just ask her. It's like, oh, my ankle's being a little iffy right now. My ankle, like, it's like more often than not, I get it when it's like if I've been like had a cold or stuff like that. So it's like you can just you feel so congested and it just sort of resets, and you like definitely feel like you can feel your like ears draining. So then you can actually like your head depressurize and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So yeah, no, I do like every once in a while. And then she does like all the cranial suture stuff and face and just to sort of release all that pressure because after you've been sick for a week and you're just like. Cool. I've actually, um, when I muscle tested your face and your cranial stuff, it all came up clear. And I was just no, that's like, great. No, no, no. It's because I'm not sick right now. Yeah. And because you have a chiropractor who does that. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely. That's cool. I noticed the difference. All right. Is there anything else that you want me to look at or work on? Use mm-hmm. your hands. Did I do this already? No. No. All right, put your hands on your hips. All right, push your elbow back here. Push, push. Good. Push here. Good. <laughs> All right. Is there any, any, else, any other questions or anything? No. What, random question, what's the uh, the pulse thing you do? Oh, I wish you asked me earlier. I oh, I'm done. sorry. I done more. Well, the pulse thing is like a, you know, um, in, in traditional Western, we've always just taken pulse mm-hmm. rate rhythm, and, and we're supposed to take it rate rhythm contour amplitude, but mm-hmm. virtually any doctor, unless you see maybe a very specialized cardiologist, they only take rate. Mm-hmm. Everyone's just like, how many beats per, per minute? minute, okay? 
But even cardiologists and all medical doctors and all doctors are always taught rate, rhythm, contour, and amplitude. Those are the qualities of the pulse. So in Ayurvedic medicine, which does a three-point reading, not a one-point, but three-point, they're very specifically measuring the contour and like what it feels like. And so I laughed at this for a long time, many years. I had no idea what it was, but too many people kept telling me that yeah. their acupuncturist could take their pulse and know things. And uh, I'm really into like just using other yes. ways to get information. I'm totally in that thing where Western and Eastern medicine can very much be like symbiotic and not yeah, yeah. so on polar opposites. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's why you see acupuncturists inside of orthopedic surgeons' yeah. offices, and it's just orthopedic surgeons and MDs who go get acupuncture certification. But um, and so. And so the first time I ever tried it, I, I was reading the book while I was doing it to someone, and it said that the first pulse, which is known as Vata, should feel like a snake slithering through the grass. And I read the book, and I looked down at the pulse, and I was like, <laughs> And then I went to the next one, and I was like, frog plopping in the pond. And I went down, and I was like, oh, it's a frog. Yay, aha moment. Yeah, exactly. And then even even still today, because the third one is a swan whooshing in the water, even today I'm still like, hmm, I don't know if I would call that a swan whooshing in the water. Like, I feel like I could rename that. Like, it, it, it feels more like, to me it feels more like uh, like a cow, like moving through lumbering. the pasture. Yeah, lumbering. Lumbering. Lumbering's a good word for that. I actually really appreciate that. I'm going to use that for that one. <laughs> So that's the pulse that, that I read it, and there's lots of different things to read in the pulse. And so if I was just going to take it at, like the energetic level of the pulse, like beyond the physical body into the subtle energies, it would look something like this. All right. Well, Does that answer your question? Yes, it does. <laughs> All right, it was great to meet you, today, Kat. Lovely meeting you, yeah, too. Thanks Thank for you. coming in. I really appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Eventually, when I'm back in the area, it'll definitely coming back. I'll be like, I don't know, year plus. <laughs> All right, well, give me your uh, post. Wait, give me a, give me a good post. How do you feel? Better, same, worse? Oh, it's just a lot more relaxed and just sort of loose, which is nice and just sort of like, huh. You feel, I just feel more settled in my body, right? Yeah. Or it feels like you're not on in the same way. Yeah. You're in. And I'm like, just feeling it, which is lovely. Cool. That's why I came. Which is great. Thank you. No, thanks for that.